gonna start out in any comfortable seat. I'm gonna read to you some words by Patti Smith. Patti Smith is a songwriter, musician, singer, writer, artist. Uh, some people call her the godmother, godmother of punk. But these are the words that she has for us today. These are Patti Smith's words. Think of yourself like a captain and you've got this little boat and sometimes the weather's good and you're just sailing. That's my Southern sailing. Sometimes the weather's good and you're just sailing. And sometimes big storms hit and you know you're in a stormy sea, but you just ride it out, ride it out because it's good to be alive. So, we're gonna ride the waves of our breath today. Sometimes it'll be smooth sailing. You might hit a stormy sea, maybe not, but this practice prepares us to ride the waves of the practice, ride the waves of the poses, of the flows, so that when we are off our mats, we are able to just ride it out no matter what it is. So find your comfortable seat that allows you to sit up tall and bring your hands together at your heart. Pay attention to your breath now and notice that your breath has a rhythm like waves have a rhythm. Like the sea has a rhythm. And let's change that rhythm of the breath up with two cleansing breaths. Big inhale through your nose. Push it all out through your mouth. One more deep inhale, draw the breath in. Exhale, let it all go. And now come back to that steadier rhythm where inhale and exhale are about the same length. For most of the practice, we'll try to keep to this rhythm. It might speed up a little bit or slow down, but we'll try to have inhale and exhale be about the same to remind us to ride out the breath, to ride out the waves. Make your commitment to, in your practice today and in your life today, to ride it out, no matter what it is. Take a deep breath in, set up a little taller, and then as you exhale, release your hands down, separate your palms, and then open your eyes. All right, if you're gonna follow along with the playlist, now's the time to get started. It's on Spotify, Virtual Yoga 5 slash 14. Happy May 14th. So go ahead and press play on that if you want to follow along. And then come into a cross leg seat on your mat. Either shin in front, oh, actually I'll tell you, that. I'll tell you what, if you normally put, say, your left shin in front, change and put the right shin in front just to change things up for yourself a little bit. Bring your hands just below your knees onto the very tops of your shins and gently hold on there. We're gonna do cat and cow breath here in a seat. So take just a normal inhale here, and then as you exhale, cat pose, round the spine, look down towards your belly, open up the back body, and then inhale, cow pose, bring the chest forward, look up towards the sky. Two more rounds, exhale, cat. Ride the inhale forward into cow. One more time for cat. And one more time for cow, look up, and then bring your head to neutral, bring your spine into neutral. Take your right arm out to the right and your left arm up overhead. Deep breath in here, and then as you exhale, arc over to the right. Be heavy into that left hip as you reach the left arm to the right. And then this is very subtle, but see if you can draw the whole left side body and the left arm back a little bit, changing up the way it feels in the side body. 
And then inhale, lift up. Take your left hand out to the left, right arm up overhead. Breath in as you sit up a little bit taller here, and then as you exhale, arc over to the left. Just a couple of breaths here, inviting heaviness into the right hip, and inviting that right arm to reach over to the left a little bit more. Maybe pulling the right side body, right armpit back a little bit. And then inhale, lift back up. Bring your hands out in front and interlace your hands. So try to keep the palms together here. And then you can turn the knuckles to point forward towards your screen. We're going to make figure eights with this one fist that we made. So just start to circle around, opening up the wrists a little bit, front sides and backs of the wrists. And now, figure eight in the opposite direction a few times. All right, keep your hands interlaced. Turn your palms forward, so you're opening up the palms. Pressing forward, cat pose here. With the palms pressing forward, look down towards your belly. Push the hands forward, and then inhale, interlaced hands overhead. Look up, cow pose here opening up, and then as you exhale, circle the arms out and down. So since we are captains of our own boats, let's make the shape of half boat pose. So bring your shins up until they're parallel to the ground. Palms face, uh, let's have palms facing in for this one. So try to draw the belly down and in as you lift the chest up at the same time. As you inhale, stretch out long here, hover your shoulder blades and your heels above the mat. As you exhale, pull in, maybe fingers touch the outer edges of the feet. We'll keep going. Inhale, open up. Exhale, pull in. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, get low. Exhale, lift up. Ride the wave here. We're halfway done. Exhale to pull in. Two more. Lower down and lift up. One more. Lower down. Lift up. Put the soles of your feet on your mat. Roll your back down. We're going to go into bridge pose here. So roll on down to your mat. Press the backs of, uh, back of your head, backs of your arms, and palms down into the mat. Push into your feet. Lift up. Open up the front of the body here. And then exhale. Lower your hips back down. Come back up to your half boat. This is um, our second variation of half boat, and it's going to be our last. Interlace your fingers. I like to have my index fingers pointing out. As you inhale, straighten out the legs and lower down, and take your fingers over to the right. Inhale, lift back up to half boat. Exhale, lower down. Take your hands over to the left. Inhale up. Exhale right. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep going. Last time to the right, and last time to the left. Come to the middle, cross the legs, put the shin in front you didn't have in front previously. Take the arms up overhead, and then as you exhale, bow forward. Inhale, lift back up, arms overhead, circle those arms back behind you, and we'll take a back bend here. First option is to pin the shoulders back, lift the chest up, take the head, the face up. Second option is to roll the knees forward, push down into the shins, the feet, the knees, lift the front of the hips up, and then exhale back down. 
we're going to come to stand at the front of our mats. So however you want to get up to standing, come on up there. Bring your hands to your heart. Feel your breath here. Maybe now is the time to start Ujjayi breath, toning gently in your throat. So you hear that breath, you hear the rhythm, and you move with that rhythm, riding it out. On your next inhale, take your arms up overhead, look up between your hands. On your exhale, ride the breath down to forward bend, fold in. We're gonna take a couple of reps in this forward bend, just to let the backs of the legs, back of the spine open up. So if you like, you can move your head around a little bit here, sway, whatever feels good for you in your forward bend. You can bend and straighten the knees, maybe do a little shoulder opener. And then come back into stillness in your forward bend. As you inhale, lengthen forward halfway. As you exhale, downward facing dog. And we'll take a couple of breaths in downward dog. So just as you did in the standing forward bend, make little adjustments, shift around a little bit. Invite openness into your back body. Keep your belly gently pulling in and keep your breath rhythmic. Come back into stillness in your downward dog. On your inhale, come forward into plank. Pull up into the belly. Get used to holding this plank. On your exhale, back to downward dog. So pull through the belly to find the downward dog. Two more times. Inhale to plank, a beat here. Exhale, downward dog. One more time, plank. This time, a beat in plank. And then on your exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Tops of the feet on the floor. Inhale, ripple up to a cobra. On your exhale, lower back down. Two more times to lift into cobra, riding the wave with the inhale to lift you and the wave of the exhale to lower. One more time, and then inhale, lift up, and then lower down to your mat. Make your way to downward facing dog. Look at the top of your knee, uh, mat and walk, step, or hop your feet to the front. Get your toes on the same starting line, fold over them, and then inhale, big breath in, lift yourself up, Exhale, hands to your heart. Back home to safe harbor right here in our sailing expedition. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, float down. Inhale, stretch forward. Make your vinyasa jumping back or stepping back to the downward dog. Flowing through, I'm gonna wait in downward dog until you meet me here. On your inhale, lift your right leg back and up behind you, stretch it high. And then on your exhale, lunge your foot to the front of your mat. Let's come up to warrior two. Take your back heel down to the floor and lift your arms up. Turn your palms up towards the sky in warrior two. On an inhale, straighten the front leg, bring the hands overhead, touch each finger to its mate, Look up between the hands, exhale, lower back down to warrior two. Again, inhale, lift, look up, exhale, lower down. We've got one more of these, inhale, lift up, and then exhale, lower down to warrior two. One breath in here, on your exhale, side angle pose. We'll take the right forearm to the right thigh for this version, bring your left bicep right over your ear. Look down at your front knee, make sure it's tracking straight forward and not jutting into the left. Take a breath in here. As you exhale, take your left hand back past your left hip 
And then as you inhale, bring it forward and up as you roll the shoulder back. Two more circles. Exhale back and down. Inhale forward and up. On this last circle, when you bring that arm up across your face, lift up, reverse warrior. Bring your right arm right by your ear. Inhale, back up to warrior two. Exhale, windmill the hands down to the mat. Spin your back heel up. Take a breath in here as you exhale, straighten the front leg, fold into it. Try to sink your left heel towards the floor. Inhale, bend the right knee, look forward. Two more of these. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, bring your knee forward. Last one, exhale, fold over your leg. And then as you inhale, bend your knee. So from here, we're gonna to step to a one leg plank pose. So both hands on the ground, left leg stays where it is, right leg lifts up to hip height. Six times, knee to nose. Exhale, pull the knee in, round the back. Inhale, one leg plank. Exhale, pull in. Inhale, open it up. Exhale. Inhale. Ride the breath. Two more, pull it in. Stretch it back to one leg plank. Last one, pull in, stretch back to one leg plank. You have the option to lower one leg chaturanga or put your foot down. Lower the chaturanga with both feet down. Take your back bend and then back to downward facing dog. Bring your feet to the top of your mat. Fold into your legs. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, float down, second side, starting now. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, downward dog or a flow here that includes downward dog. And now that we're all in downward dog together, inhale, left leg, back and up behind you, stretch it up. Exhale, lunge your foot to the front of your mat. Back heel roots, rise up to warrior two, turn the palms up. Check out that front knee, make sure it's tracking straight ahead. On an inhale, straighten the front leg, take the arms up overhead, look up to the sky. Exhale, settle back down, bottom of the wave here. Inhale, lift up, top of the wave, riding high. Exhale, lower down. One more time, lift up, and then exhale, lower. Side angle pose, left forearm on the left thigh, right arm right over the ear. Three arm circles. As you exhale, take your right arm back past your hip and down. As you inhale, bring it forward and up and roll the shoulder back. Two more. Working with your breath. On this last one, as that right arm rises up, let it lift your torso up and then reverse warrior. Inhale, back up to warrior two. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Flip your back heel up. Take a breath in here as you exhale. Bow over your front leg as it straightens and try to sink the right heel closer to the mat. Inhale, bend into your knee. Look forward. Two more, exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend. Your breath takes you to the straight leg, fold. Your breath takes you to the bent knee. And then from here, we go to that one leg plank pose. So taking that left leg up to hip height, six times, exhale, knee to nose, pull in. Inhale, back out, one leg plank. Halfway there.
For me, this is my last one. Stretching the leg back, one leg chaturanga or two leg. Take your back bend, open the chest. Exhale, downward dog. Walk, step or hop your feet to the top of your mat. Fold into the legs. And then inhale, lift up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Coming back to the dock. Settling in before we set sail again to ride the next waves of our next flow. And untie yourself, unmoor. Here we go, chair pose. Lower your hips, lift your heart. Try to press the thumbs back, press the head back. Exhale, hands to your heart. Twist around to the right. Bring your left elbow to the outside of the right leg. Find that twist and keep it. Put your weight into your right foot. Lift your left heel to hip height. And then as you exhale, stretch the left leg back, keeping the twist as you reach back, and then lower the ball of your foot down to the mat. On your inhale, high crescent pose. Take your arms up overhead, stretch up tall. On your exhale, hands at the front of your mat, downward facing dog. From downward dog, it's vinyasa time. Inhale into plank, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, right leg high to the sky. Exhale, lunge your right foot to the front of your mat. Warrior one, root into the back foot and back leg. Inhale, rise up. Couple of breaths in your warrior one, making micro adjustments to square the hips and to open the heart. And then on an exhale, circle your arms out wide and down behind your back. Interlace your hands, keep the chest broad. Exhale, humble warrior. Hold down. Hands to your low back. As you inhale, lift the chest up. From here, we come into eagle pose. It's a standing balance, Gaurudasana. We'll stand on the right leg, cross the left leg on top, and then bring the arms in front, left arm under the right arm as you wrap the forearms, bringing the palms together. Maybe now that you have the pose, now that you have the balance, you sink in a little bit, riding out this pose. Keep the arms just as they are. Lift the left leg up and step it to the back of your mat. Turn to the left, come into horse stance. With the arms in the eagle wrap, twist around to the left, so that's towards the back of your mat. Elbows down to the left knee, sweep them over to the right knee, and then twist to the right as you lift your torso up, back to the middle. Two more rotations, twisting left and down and right, lifting up. Last time, sweep across and down, over to the right and up. Come to the middle, straighten the legs, square the feet up, keep the arms still wrapped. Take a back bend here. Inhale, lift back up. Finally, unwrap the arms. Take them behind your back. Interlace the fingers, broad chest, open heart. Exhale, forward bend. Once you find your forward bend, bring your hands away from your back. Fold over your legs. On your next exhale, release your hands down to the floor. And we'll take six side lunges here. 
So try to use your breath as the guide. Take these six on your own, going back and forth to the place that your ankles, your knees, your hips and inner thighs allow. So this is six total, not six each side. When you finish the six, you just fold into your forward bend. Allowing a deeper opening here. All right, walk your hands back to the front of your mat, coming into lunge. Step back to plank pose, and then lower your knees to the mat. So orient yourself where you can see the screen. I'm going to show you what we're going to do next and give you two options. So front plank, first option, one leg plank. You'll pull that right knee in, spin the back heel down, shoot the right foot out, and maybe touch it with your left hand. So I'll show you a little faster here. Second option, if that's not going to work for your shoulders, your foot, you'll put the right foot, uh, right knee down, take the right hand a little wider, lift the left leg up, take it out to the side, maybe touch it and back. And this will be your ab work to end this sail. So get yourself to plank. And then we'll go to one leg plank. First option is right leg lifts up to hip height. Second option is right knee to the floor and right hand a little bit wider. Here we go, six times. Exhale, pull the right knee in, reach the right foot over, touch it with your left hand, and back. Five more, using your breath to help you move. I've got two more on this side. Come back to your one leg plank. Exhale, lower, one leg chaturanga. Inhale, upper dog or cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Bring your feet to the top of your mat. Fold over them, chair pose. Lower the hips, lift the heart, and then push into the feet. Stand tall. Take a standing back bend here. Inhale, back up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Take a moment to resettle. Find the rhythm to your breath. And now we ride it out on the second side, beginning with chair. Exhale, hands to your heart. Twist to the left. Right arm comes across, left elbow points up. Lift up your right foot. Stretch it to the back of your mat. And then lower the ball of that right foot down. Oh, that's looking good. Twist around a little bit more here. And then on your inhale, high crescent pose, rising up, opening into a back bend. Exhale, hands down to the mat, step back to downward dog. Optional vinyasa here, both feet on the ground for this one. Ride it out, Patty Smith says, it's good to be alive. From downward dog. Inhale, lift your left leg to the sky. Lifting it a little higher maybe this time. Exhale, lunge your uh, left foot to the front of your mat. Warrior one. Inhale, lift up. Taking a few breaths to adjust. And then turn your palms out as you exhale. Lower your hands down. Circle them out and then interlace behind your back. 
On your exhale, bow into Humble Warrior. Folding over, folding in. Bring your hands to your low back. And as you inhale, lift your torso up. Now we launch forward into Eagle Pose. So stand on the left leg, cross the right leg on top, and then cross the right arm under the left arm. Once you find your pose, once you find your balance, maybe pull into the core to sit a little bit deeper. On your inhale, lift back up. Keep the arms crossed. Lift the right leg up. Step it to the back of your mat. Come into horse stance legs here. And we'll take those three circles. So take a breath in as you exhale. Elbows go to the right, twisting down to the right knee. Sweep over to the left knee. Lift up in the twist and then sweep all the way across and down, across low, lifting up. Last one here. Once you get to the middle, keep the arms crossed, straighten the legs, square the feet up, breath in, and then as you exhale, back bend with the eagle arms. Inhale, back up. Feels so good to release that bind. Unwind, take your hands behind your back, interlace, and then forward bend. So on this side, we're just gonna hold the forward bend. Some of you who love inversions might wanna take one here. Some of you who just want to open up the back body, just stay in your forward bend, breathing into whatever place allows you to open up a little bit more. Anything you want to do with the arms and the hands to help. You can stay in that shoulder opener with the hands interlaced behind or bring the hands to the mat and place them in a way that helps you fold in. Just listen to and respond to your body. If you're in the inversion, now's the time to come on down. And then walk your hands around to the front of your mat so you're in lunge. So we've got the left foot in front in the lunge. Now we're going to go to that one leg plank. So hands down, take the left leg back to hip height. That's the first version. Second version is left knee down on the ground. Exhale, knee to nose, pull in, and then shoot your right foot or your left foot over to the right, maybe touch it, and then back. Five more. Exhale, pull in, reach across. I've got two more. Try to ride the wave of your breath here. One leg plank, lower, one leg chaturanga. Take your back bend and then downward facing dog. Ah, we did it. Bring your feet to the top of your mat. Last chair pose of the practice. Lower the hips down. Lift up through your heart. And then push into the feet. Standing back bend here. Inhale, back up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Let's set sail again. Another trip here. This one starts with dancer pose. So we're gonna slowly move into dancer on the left foot. So you're gonna stand on that left foot, shift your weight into it, bend the right knee, 
Reach back with the right hand or your strap. Grab your foot. We're going to hold here for a few breaths, using our core to help keep us stable in the balance, and using those deep breaths to help open up the front of the right thigh. Now let's start moving into the answer. Take your left arm up. On your exhale, hinge forward at your hip. As your chest comes forward, push your foot back into your hand, looking out in front of you. And then on an exhale, step back to high crescent pose. Right foot at the back of the mat. Both arms up overhead, lift up high. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Downward facing dog. Take a vinyasa here. Of course, it's optional. If you're taking the vinyasa, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, ride those waves. From downward dog, inhale, lift your right leg back and up behind you, stretching it up even higher this time. On your exhale, use your core to place your foot in front of your mat. Come up to warrior two again. And now triangle pose, straighten the front leg, deep breath in, pulling into your center. Exhale, reach forward, right fingers touch down on the floor or a prop. Roll the left shoulder back. On your exhale, bend back into your right knee and bring both hands down at the front of your mat, straddling the front foot. Lift the back heel up. One leg dog, we're gonna hold that one leg dog. Take your right leg back and up behind you. Standing splits at the back of your mat. So you walk your hands back until you're standing on that left leg and lifting the right leg up to standing splits. As you inhale, come to, uh, we'll call this uh, what we called it on Tuesday, or what I called it on Tuesday, one leg mountain pose or Tadasana. So we'll stand on that left leg, bring your right knee up to hip height, and both arms up overhead. Standing at the back of your mat and balancing here. Core helps with the balance. Take your breath in. As you exhale, step halfway forward on your mat for warrior three. Lift the left leg back behind you. Inhale, lift up, one leg to dasana or mountain pose, lifting the left knee to hip height. As you exhale, step the left foot to the front of your mat, half moon pose, left foot and left fingers touch down as the right fingers reach for the sky. And now we turn it into sugar cane pose. Bend your right knee, reach back with your right hand or your strap, grab your foot. Once you get the bind, push the foot back, take the head back. It's a back bend here. And then exhale, release. Step your right foot to the back of your mat. One leg flow. So we'll take the left leg back and up for a one leg vinyasa option and we'll meet in downward facing dog. From downward dog, walk your hands to the back of your mat. Standing in forward bend. Widen the feet out. We're going to come to a seat on our mat. Some of you will be able to come through malasana, a squat. Some of you just come on down to a seat with your feet out in front, about mat width distance apart. And bring your hands to your heart. Flare your elbows out to the sides. Try to sit up tall here. Take a breath in. As you exhale, you're going to take both knees over to the right and then turn your torso, your chest towards the back of your mat. Try to draw 
back through your elbow. Use your core to help you twist around here. Inhale to the front, bring your knees up. Now second side, breath in here as you exhale. Twist to the other side, rotate around. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the first side. Use your core to help you twist across. Inhale, center. Again, over to the second side. Twisting around. Inhale, center. One more time to the first side. Use your core to move. Inhale, middle. One more time to the second side. Rotate around. Inhale, center. Cross your legs. Put either shin in front. We're going to try to stand up here from this cross leg stance. If you know it's not going to work for you, just come on up. But maybe you use your core to help you stand up. So I, I like to use a little momentum too. I sweep my arms out and then pull in and up to lift up. So take a breath in and then as you exhale, come forward, stand up, uncross your legs. How are we doing there? It's a toughie, I know. Working on that core to help us get there. Hands to your heart. We'll push off now, setting sail on the second side. Dancer pose, stand on your right foot. Bend your left knee, reach back with your left hand. And let's just take a few breaths here, getting accustomed to the standing balance and the quad opener. Right arm straight up to the sky, fingers pointing up. Deep breath in, strong core. As you exhale, take the chest forward and the foot back at the same rate. Take your gaze forward, push your foot back into your hand. On an exhale, step back high, crescent pose. Left foot at the back of the mat, both arms up overhead, deep breath in. And then as you exhale, hands down to the floor. Step back to downward facing dog. Optional vinyasa here if you want it. Or hold that downward dog. From downward dog, inhale left leg back and up behind you. As you exhale, lunge your foot to the front of your mat. Come up to warrior two. Triangle pose, straighten the left leg, lean out, and then touch the left fingers down and roll the right shoulder back. Maybe take your head back a little bit. On your next exhale, bend into the left knee, bring your hands down on either side of the left foot, lift the back heel up. Here we go into standing splits at the back of the mat. So as you inhale, take your left foot back and up behind you, lift it high, try to keep it high as you walk your hands back. Standing and folding over your right leg, and then on an inhale, we'll lift up to that one leg to dasana, still balancing on the right foot, left knee up to hip height, both arms up overhead. Here we are. Ride the exhale forward into warrior three, stepping halfway forward on your mat with your left foot. Inhale, lift up, one leg to dasana, right knee is the leg that lifts up. Exhale, half moon pose. Right foot at the front of your mat. Right fingers touch down. Left leg lifts back behind you. And then when and if you're ready, turn your half moon pose into half moon sugar cane. Find your foot and roll open. Release your foot, step back into lunge. And then from here, you can take your vinyasa if you want. 
or just step back to downward dog. We'll wait for the people riding the vinyasa to meet us in downward dog. From downward dog, walk your hands to the back of your mat. Standing forward, bend at the back of your mat. And then we'll come to a seat at the back of the mat with the knees bent and the feet out in front, maybe coming through Malasana, or maybe just lowering the hips down, feet out in front. So take your feet wide, hands to your heart, elbows flaring out to the sides. Take a breath in here. As you exhale, take your knees to the left and you'll twist around to the left. Inhale to the middle. That's your obliques calling. Exhale, twist right, uh, twist to the right. Inhale, middle. Exhale, first side again. Inhale, middle, slowly walking up. Exhale, second side. Accentuate that twist around, trying to get your heart to face the back of your mat. Inhale, middle, one more time around. Each side. So last twist. Inhale to the middle. Put the other shin in front that you didn't have in front last time, if you can remember. If you can't remember, just change because you probably naturally always put one in front. And we'll try to stand up here using the core, a little momentum. Take a breath in. I take my arms out and then swoop them together and out to help out. Breath in and then exhale. Lean forward, lift up. Yes, we did it. Hands to your heart. Inhale, lift up. This is our last time to set sail. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, stretch out. Last vinyasa opportunity right here. If it's calling your name, use your breath to be the wind that guides you. From downward dog, bring your right leg forward for pigeon prep. So if pigeon prep in this situation is not working for you, if you've got pain here, then you come onto your back for pigeon prep, which looks like right shin crossed over left knee, and then you can pull in here. You've got more control there than you do here. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, start to lower down. Coming onto your elbows, maybe elbows or forearms on props, maybe stretching your arms out in front and lowering your chest and forehead to the mat. Now that we are in relative stillness with our bodies, Can you still keep a rhythm to your breath and keep paying attention to that breath? Start to walk your hands up. We'll take a little back bend here, lifting the chest up. If you're on your back, you're gonna put both feet on the floor and take a little bridge pose. And then hands back down at the front of your mat. Step back to downward dog. If you're on your back, you stay there. And then pigeon prep with the left leg in front or on your back. Left base of your shin crosses over right knee. So take a moment, find your position, and then as you exhale, start to lower down.
All right, start to walk your hands back up, taking a little back bend. If you're on your back, it'll be another bridge pose for you. Both feet on the ground, lifting your heart up. And then back to downward dog. From downward dog, we're gonna to come to a seat on our mats. So if you're already seated, you're in good shape. If not, you can jump your feet through, jump to a cross leg seat, or just lower your knees down and find your seat however you can. So back to the cross leg seat. Let's take both arms up and then exhale, bow forward. Inhale, lift back up. Keep your arms up overhead. We're going to try to tr uh, change the shin that's in front without leaning back too much. All of us will need to lean back a little bit, but use your core to lift those legs up. Put the other shin in front. There you go. And then forward bend. Inhale, lift back up, and then bring your arms out and down. So here, we'll stretch the legs out in front, and take one seated forward bend here. Arms back up, exhale, bow forward. Inhale, lift back up, and then come on to your back. Let's uh, bend the knees, soles of the feet on the ground here. Take your right leg straight up into the air and interlace your hands behind your thigh. If you're comfortable with it, stretch your left leg out long on the mat. You might stay right here for a back of the leg stretch, or if you want a little bit more, walk your hands up your leg to wherever it feels right for you. That could be somewhere on your shin, maybe your foot. If you have a strap nearby, maybe use the strap. Start walking your hands back down your leg. Bend your right knee, and we'll take a twist here. Take your right knee to the left and stretch your left arm back out to the uh, right. Right arm to the right, right knee to the left. Couple of breaths here. And then inhale, bring your right leg back up. And then put the right foot on the floor. Take the left leg straight up into the air. Interlace your hands behind your thigh. If you have the room for it, stretch the right leg out long. And then if you have more room in the back of that leg, maybe walk your hands up your leg. Just honoring your body when you get to the place that feels right for you for a back of the leg stretch. Walk your hands back down your left leg, bend the left knee, and take the left knee to the right, stretch the left arm out to the left.
On your inhale, bring your knee back up. Hug both knees in just briefly here. And then on an exhale, stretch your legs out. It is Shavasana time. We have uh, come into port from our sailing adventure today. Ride it out, ride it out, ride out the waves of your breath in Shavasana. And try to let each part of your body sink into a deeper state of relaxation. So use each exhale to let the back of your neck and your trapezius muscles relax. Use the next few exhales to release across your chest and to soften your belly. Use your next few exhales to soften into the muscles of your back, your hips, your glutes, down through the legs and out through the arms. When the weather's good, you're just sailing along. When the big storms hit, you ride it out because it's good to be alive.
start to return to your breath. Let that gentle wave of your breath in and out reawaken you. Start to wave your fingers and wave your toes. Stretch your body out long, however that feels good for you. And then on an exhale, roll to your side and come up to a seat or just roll on up to your seat. Bring your hands together at your heart and close your eyes. I hope that whether you have smooth seas today or rough seas, you're able to use the tools of your practice to ride out whatever comes your way as you sail along. Because as Patti Smith says, it's good to be alive. Let's send some of our energy out to those who are sick, those who are in need, those who are helping the sick and the needy, those who are helping us still stay home. The captain in my heart bows to the captain in your heart. Namaste. Thanks everybody.